In hospitals around the world, doctors are testing new and innovative approaches to fighting cancer, and Gateway for Cancer Research is on the front lines. For the past 25 years, Gateway has funded more than 140 clinical trials, including blood cancer studies at the University of Michigan, clinical trials for treatment of breast cancer at Washington University, new approaches to treating pancreatic cancer at the University of Iowa College of Medicine, combination therapy for the treatment of lung cancer at UCLA Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center, and at Seattle Children's, advances in the fight against pediatric cancer are being made by Dr. Sarah Leary. Tumor paint is an injected molecule that helps doctors see and ultimately remove cancerous cells in the brains of developing children. Children such as Hunter Kaufman. Hunter's whole first year was like picture perfect. Right around Hunter's second birthday, we started to notice some changes in the way he was walking. And when you'd pick him up, he'd start to tuck his knees a little bit, almost like it was hurting him. December 28th, he wouldn't even stand at that point. He would just fall. We decided to go ahead and take him into Seattle Children's. A really nice woman walked in. She had introduced herself as a doctor. And she asked if she could ask me a series of questions. The first question was asking if he was having a hard time sitting up in a chair, if he was having a hard time focusing his eyes, if he'd become really irritable. It was like she was pinpointing everything that was going on in his life. And all the answers were yes. So at that point, I felt like she knew something that I didn't know. So she wanted to do an MRI and a CAT scan. And that's when they told us that um, something had come up on the scan. And it's, it's when everything stopped. She said, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, we found a mass in the back of Hunter's brain. And nobody knows how long it was there. Nobody knows if it's cancer. Nobody knows what's going to happen yet. They just know that there was a ton of fluid built up in Hunter's head that was causing all of his symptoms and that that, need, that pressure needed to be relieved right away. Um, because if it wasn't, that could actually kill him. My husband kept telling me, let's, not, let's try not to cry in front of him. Let's try to make him feel like nothing's wrong, nothing's happening. He had no idea. And I just remember he kept saying, don't cry, Mama. And that was the first actual real sentence Hunter had said in his life, too. Um, I only got to see him for about 10 minutes before they whisked him back to surgery. And at that point, that was my first realization that I might not see him again. I can't, I can't remember the in-between. It seemed like as soon as they had told us everything, life just stopped. And they took Hunter immediately and they said, we have to take him back. And I remember we just sat there. It was hours. I don't even know. There was a resident doctor who was trying to tell us about what the draining of the fluid was exactly. And I just told him, I said, can you just, can you just please promise me right now that you'll bring him back and that I can at least see him? I was worried that we weren't going to see him again. Hunter had grade four um, classic medulloblastoma. And then I remember Dr. Sarah Leary came in and she wanted us to look at this one specific trial that they were doing for the surgery to make the tumor glow. We automatically elected to do it just because if nothing else, we could make sure that we helped progress all these technologies for other children. Hunter was not the only one out there with a brain tumor. 
and I don't know what I can do to help. Right now, I, I want to do so much and I overwhelm my husband by my thoughts every night of, well, how are we going to cure cancer? <laughs> every single part of his treatment plan was crucial into saving his life. And I actually often try to think about gifts that we would give to people that have done something remarkable for us, like the Gateway Foundation and Tumor Paint and all our doctors. And I don't, I can never come to something that would repay them for everything that they've done for us. But what I do have his hunter going into celebrating his third birthday and no longer having cancer and talking and walking and wrestling with his brother and saying his ABCs and being a normal, perfect three-year-old. And it was because of donors that made the tumor paint trial possible for a patient like Hunter and hopefully many patients after Hunter. Saturday mornings, I usually wake up to him coming into the bedroom, tapping on my face, saying, time to wake up, Daddy. Now we're just trying to be a family with two beautiful, healthy boys.